Okay. Hi everybody, my name is uh, Pastor Britton Bowman and I'm going to be doing a, a vlog series on relevant events related to the Christian faith, uh, current events in the world, and sort of as a watchman on the wall, as we're told to do as Christians. Today we're going to look at worldviews. There's two primary worldviews, either that there is some type of creator of any source, or if there is just pure naturalism, no creator at all. So if there's a creator, if people believe in any kind of hand, any kind of information giver, they are a type of creationist. If people believe that it was completely random with no guidance whatsoever, then they are a naturalist. They believe everything is natural and basically a humanist because humans are at the top of that naturalist chain. So if we look at the Bible, we look at Genesis, in the beginning, God created, created the heavens and the earth. That's Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. Then we look at Psalm 19.1. It says, the heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament is declaring the work of his hands. And in John 1.1, 1, 1, it tells us that the word created all things and the word is a reference to Jesus Christ. So if you take a Christian or any worldview that looks at a divine hand in creation, you have a bias towards the fact that things are created and made with purpose. Now, if you think that everything is natural, then you have a bias and your presuppositional bias will say that there is no divine hand and things must be and had to be created randomly with no purpose and no direction. So based on these two frameworks of worldviews, we see through a lens, and that lens colors the outcome. So we all start with a presuppositional bias about how things are in the world. And we all have conclusions, and the middle is what we see that's the same. If we're looking at science, we're looking at things in the world around us, and we see them and we say this information is the same, but our bias to fit our worldview will make our conclusions different. That's why we can look at the same information and come to a different conclusion if you're an evolutionist versus a creationist. So during this series, we're gonna be breaking all of this down, how we look at the world, what we see in design of the world, or if we see randomness in the world. Um, we'll look at uh, different pathways of information from geology, to biology, to cosmology. We'll look at many of these areas and um, I will give it from a Christian point of view, per perspective. I will also be bringing in the evolutionary perspective so that you can evaluate the two. And I'll give you my reasons why I believe one over the other. And then you can, of course, do your own study and make up your own mind. So thank you for watching. This is Pastor Britton Bowman. Have a great day. So I just want to remind everybody, we'll be doing this series, uh, a posting every Monday. So we'll have a, a new message out every Monday. We're, they're going to be short messages, probably no more than the five minute mark. And they'll be relevant to topics today. And we'll be doing this series on evolution and creationism. So we're also, uh, I'm here at Community Church of Norco. That's my home church. And we have a webpage, ccn.church. And you can also find us at Community Church of Norco on YouTube. And you can watch some of uh, my sermons and you can watch some of our music directors singing and other events that we have um so we hope that you'll join us there and you, we hope that you'll join us every monday thank you so much for watching